Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I have a very exciting video where I'm going to be doing some book shopping and taking you along with me. In this video, I visit three of my local bookstores where I pick up some books and some clothes and different things. It's like a whole, you know, just like spend the day with me kind of vlog. But before we do jump into the video, I wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Scentbird. Scentbird is a brand that I absolutely love to work with because one of the most fun things to me is getting to try different scents and perfumes. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can try different designer perfumes every month for only $17. I love that their plan is flexible so that you can skip any months with no penalties, but you can also add two to three other scents per month as well. I am always really impressed by the size of these bottles. Like these are massive. This is a 30 day supply of this perfume and it really is so much perfume. It's eight times bigger than a usual sample size of perfume. They have over 600 different designer brands to choose from and literally guys, perfume can be so expensive. Like perfume is probably one of the most expensive things that you can buy and that's why I think it is so fun to get to try out all of these really expensive perfumes for so cheap. I also think it's just so fun to have like different perfumes for like different events or different seasons of the year. Maybe you wear one in the morning, maybe you wear one at night. I don't know, you can mix it up. And Scentbird was kind enough to send me four different fragrances to try out this time around. They sent me Commodity Paper which has cedarwood and sandalwood and it smells so pleasant and lovely. They sent me this Michel German, which this one has bergamot, grapefruit, rosemary, French lavender. They also sent me Ash the Eighth, which is Ashley Benson's perfume, which I did not even realize it's Ashley Benson's perfume. Like how freaking cool. And this one, oh my gosh, this one has bergamot, musk, and cashmere woods. This one has got to be in like my top three favorite scents that I've ever smelt in my freaking life. And then they did also send me this one, Confessions of a Rebel, Get a Room and Order Champagne perfume as well. And this one is also very nice. You know, I do tend to like the perfumes better that have more of like a unisex smell that are more like gender neutral. And this one I think is great for that. Yeah, I have actually discovered my favorite scent of all time because of Scentbird. And I don't know if I would have ever discovered that scent if it wasn't for them. And no joke, this one, the Ashley Benson perfume, like, oh my gosh, I might buy an entire bottle of this. Like, I love this so much. And if you're not sure where to start, Scentbird actually has this really simple quiz that you can take and based off of your preferences, it'll suggest you a perfume that you might enjoy. And this can also be a great way to discover new scents. So yeah, make sure to use the link down below and to use my code Gabby to get 55% off your first order with Scentbird, which is only about $8. And the good news is that not only is Scentbird available for the US, but it's also available in Canada. Thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the book shopping vlog. <laughs> Good morning, how's it going? Um, first thing, I just wanted to apologize in advance if I sound weird when I talk or if I lisp at all because this is my first day, you know, out ever since that I got my wisdom tooth surgery. So my mouth is still in quite a bit of pain, but not nearly as much pain as it has been. As of today, it's almost been a week since my surgery and today is like the first day that I'm really starting to feel normal again. And so I decided that I wanted to go out and do some book shopping because it's been a while, you know, since I've done a book shopping with me vlog and I just thought it would be really nice and cozy to like do one of these in the month of December because like the town is all like decorated and it just looks really cute out here and so today I just figured I would take you along with me as I visit some of my favorite local bookstores. So the first bookstore that I'm going to today is one of my favorites. It's Village Books and this one, oh my gosh, this one's quite a bit of a drive now that I live out where I do. Um, it's about like a 30-ish minute drive so I've been driving for about 30 minutes. I've just been listening to Indigo all morning, you know, RM. Oh, it's amazing. And this is the bookstore where they have the ARC bookshelf on the bottom floor. Like they have ARCs that you can uh, make a donation to the store to get them. So I'm really excited to see if they have anything. I haven't been to this bookstore in, I want to say like almost three months. I think the last time I was out here was in September. So it has been a minute. So I'm really curious to see if they have anything that I'm interested in. And yeah, I'm just so excited to get the day started. I think later today I might go to um, Value Village and Barnes & Noble. We'll see because Value 
Value Village is very hit or miss for me depending on what they have. So let's go. I have to pay for parking and then let's go to the bookstore. <laughs>
I just got out of Village Books and that was very successful. I ended up getting quite a few things, which I will show you all of the things that I got um, later when I get home. But oh my gosh, did you see the 10th anniversary edition of Aristotle and Dante? Like what the heck? It was the most beautiful, like it was like a naked hardcover. Like there was no dust jacket on it, but the freaking print on the front was so stunning and the freaking, the edges had this like beautiful design on it and the end papers. Oh my God, everything about that was so beautiful. Like that hardcover edition is like $25 and I was thinking about it, you know, I was thinking about it. I didn't get it, but like I might come back and get it because oh my God, it's stunning. And Aristotle and Dante is like one of my favorite books ever. Like I think I've read that book three times now and I get the urge to reread it like every single summer. And so like, holy shit, that just made my day. Like I didn't even know they had a 10th anniversary edition. What the heck? Cause yeah, it's been 10 years as of this year, I think, right? <laughs> I don't know, but holy shit, I kind of hit the jackpot in there. I feel like sometimes when I don't come to this bookstore for a few months, I feel like sometimes when I do that and take a break and come back, I just find so many incredible things. Like, I was kind of nervous because when I went in there and I was looking through those first, like, two shelves, I was like, oh my god, I don't see anything really. But then everything was, like, on that bottom shelf that I wanted. Like, oh my gosh. I found so many gems and so many books that I've been looking forward to and just so many books that I've been hearing things about, especially because the Goodreads Choice Awards. I think I'm going to head to value village now and you know like i said value village is very hit or miss for me whether or not i find anything so like we'll just have to see how it goes like sometimes i can be surprised by how many like newer releases my value village has and then sometimes i go and it's like a total waste of time and a bust and so we'll just have to see how it is this time i might also be looking for like any kind of like scrapbooking magazine type of stuff too because i've been really getting into you know like media journaling recently and I love having like scrappy like magazine scraps to like media journal with so I might be looking for stuff like that too at Value Village but yeah let's get to it. <laughs>
Okay, I just got out of Value Village and I feel like I always spend so much longer in there than I intend to because I just start looking at the books and then I start looking at the clothes. I only ended up getting one book while I was there and that's My Dearest Darkest. This one is one that I was interested in because it's a sapphic young adult kind of like horror fantasy book, I'm pretty sure. I don't actually know too much about this, I just know on the back it says Wilder Girls Meets the Craft in this queer feminist horror debut. Um, and so this is one that I've, I've heard good things about this one from my friends So that's why when I saw it I was like, oh, okay I mean for four bucks like why not, you know, so I only ended up getting that one book But I was pretty surprised by how many like newer releases my value village has I'm always like wow Like there really is so much available there. And so yeah I just ended up getting the one book But then I did end up getting a few different clothing items that I'm very excited about as well So I'll probably show you those once I get home, but I really can't believe my luck with Valley Village today like that was very exciting. It's not always this exciting So that's great. But anyways now I'm going over to Barnes & Noble because I do have a specific book that I'm gonna be looking for I want to try to find that book called mother thing or I think it's called mother thing because I'm gonna be um Co-hosting my friend Elizabeth over from reading Riley She asked me to co-host her book club in January and that's the book that we're gonna be reading together And so I figured now would be a good time to try to get my hands on a copy and I'm pretty sure last time I was at Barnes & Noble I saw a copy there there. I also might browse the manga area a little bit because you know oh manga so um so yeah let's head to Barnes & Noble it's just around the corner from here <laughs>
out of Barnes and Noble and I bought two things. I don't know if you saw that last clip there, but um, I saw this like BTS magazine right by the cash register and I was like this close to just buying it, impulse buying it. It's crazy though, because I feel like most magazines cost just as much as books. I've noticed like the magazines are like 13 to 15 dollars it's kind of crazy but i don't know anytime i see a bts magazine my brain is like i need it so that's kind of uh how that went but i didn't end up buying it okay i have some self-control but i did end up getting two books i didn't end up getting any manga because i feel like i've been buying so much manga lately and there's still so much that i need to read and catch up on so i was like okay i need to actually read some of the manga that i already own before i buy more of it you know wish i could say the same for books but i don't know why for books it's like it's different <laughs> anyways i did end up buying two things so the first thing that i got is mother thing this is the one that i planned to get today because this is a book that i'm going to be reading for my friend's book club in january they also gave me this really cool bookmark like look at this this is like stunning it's giving fall vibes and i just really dig this bookmark so like that's pretty cool all i really know about this one is that it's a horror novel and that it's about like a mother-in-law and how she like moves in with the couple and then it's like horror like i don't really know it just sounds like it's gonna be really interesting and so i can't wait to read this next month god next month is already january what is time anyways uh the second book that i ended up getting i wasn't really planning to get this one but i saw it there and then i was like oh yeah duh because it's the very secret society of irregular witches and this is a book that is a romance novel that involves a witch as like the main character and I've just been hearing nothing but good things about this one especially from my friend Rachel Hope I was actually doing reading sprints with her on patreon like last month or the month before and she was telling me how I need to read this because she thinks that I would love it and that it's a really really cute you know like cozy romance novel I also think um before I do get home I kind of wanted to get Starbucks you know I am still within like a week of my surgery so technically I can't have any straws yet which is unfortunate because i do prefer iced coffee but i feel like i maybe should just get a get a hot coffee you know i haven't really had any coffee in a while because of my surgery and then i also i haven't had any of the new like holiday drinks yet and some of my favorite starbucks drinks are you know the warm holiday drinks i'm thinking like a caramel brulee you know maybe a chestnut praline i don't know so i think i'm going to order myself some starbucks and then drive home and then i can show you all of the books that i hauled today as well as some of the clothes that i got at value village because i'm also very excited about that <laughs> got the starbucks look at how cute this cup is oh my god i also got a coffee cake because it should be soft enough for me to eat i think you know i still really can't eat that much right now i ended up going with a caramel brulee latte because this one's always been one of my faves even though i do love the chestnut one as well like that one's also one of my faves but like ah, it's been so long let's do it oh that is hot as a bitch but holy shit it's so good Oh my god, the caramel flavors. Oh my god. You know, sometimes I forget how much I enjoy warm coffee because I drink so much iced coffee these days. And I think I still definitely prefer iced coffee instead of hot coffee. But like, oh my god, this is incredible. Especially because it's so cold out today, you know? It's like a solid 37 degrees and like there is still snow on the ground from when it snowed a few days ago. And so this is just like the vibe right now, you know? Okay, I just got home and there is like an Amazon package waiting for me by the door And if this is what I think it is, like I'm so excited Oh my gosh, it is. Okay 
Apparently, um, Amazon sells these like BTS photo cards, which I didn't know. You know, I don't know if these are like official or not, or if they're like fan made. I'm not totally sure, but I've noticed recently that um, I don't know why I never thought to check Amazon, but Amazon sells like so many BTS photo cards for like all of their albums. And because I've just recently got, you know, into BTS this year, I don't really have many photo cards. So I ended up buying one for their album B. I actually ordered one for proof as well. And I got the proof one in the mail the other day. And I've just been so excited about these. Oh my God, there's literally so many. Ugh. Okay, so they come in packs of like 52 or something like that. And they're all like little photo cards. <laughs> Look at these photo cards. Like they're just so cute. Wow, these are so nice. Like, I don't know if these are like the professionally made ones or if they're fan made. I'm not totally sure, but like, ugh, look at them. I love these uh, photo shoots that they do for each one of their albums. Like, it's just so freaking cute and soft. And now I'm so happy that I have this in my life. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm just happy to have them, you know? <laughs> God, look at this one of Tay. Look at him. Wow, oh, beautiful, so beautiful. And then look at these, uh, these close-up ones of Suga and J-Hope, like, are you kidding me? Stunning, pretty freaking cool. Like these are really high quality, really well-made on Amazon. There's, they're only like seven bucks. Pretty freaking cool, right? Like I'm so obsessed. Hey, I thought I would film this little outro in front of our Christmas tree because how freaking cute and perfect is this? And so I just wanted to quickly show you all the things that I hauled today because as you did see um, at Valley Village, I got my Dearest Darker, which is the only book that I ended up getting at Valley Village. But then I also did get Mother Thing and The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches from Barnes and Noble. And then, oh my gosh, let's discuss all of the things that I got from my local bookstore, Village Books. I bought seven things. Okay, these were all on the ARC shelf. So one of the ARCs that I found was for Leech, which this is a horror book that I've actually been so curious about. I actually read the first chapter of this book when I did a try a chapter with my sister back in October. And I thought the intro chapter was really interesting. And I said it would be perfect to read around winter time because it felt very like gothic and kind of like snowy. And this one, it takes place at this medical institute where there's like something that breaks out, I think. And there's some kind of like disease or like plague leg or contagion thing that like starts spreading. It just sounds like it's gonna be really creepy and weird. And I'm just so happy that I found a copy there. And then I also found an ARC copy of Dead Silence. This is that um, super popular like horror sci-fi book that came out recently. I wasn't totally sure if I was wanting to read this one or not because I had been hearing some mixed things. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I just noticed there's a freaking Nightfire sticker in here. How cool. Uh, but this one actually came out in January this year. So I can't believe that I found an ARC copy for this one. I love the way too that it doesn't even say the title of the book on this cover. It just has, you know, the most interesting things about it, like a ghost ship, a salvage crew, unspeakable horror. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to find this one. I know my friend Olivia read this earlier this year and she really enjoyed it. So that's another part of the reason why I wanted to pick it up. And then while we're discussing sci-fi, I also found this book, which I believe is pronounced Keiju Preservation Society. This is the one that I actually heard about because of the Goodreads Choice Awards. I noticed that it was nominated in the sci-fi category and it takes place during the COVID pandemic of when like COVID is like sweeping through New York City. And we're following this guy who's a dead end driver for food delivery apps. And I don't know, it just sounded kind of interesting. And I checked on Goodreads and this one's actually getting some really good reviews. So I was like, I mean, okay, why not? It was only $2. And this one came out in March this year. So pretty cool that I'm finding some releases that actually came out earlier in the year, but I'm just hearing about them now because of the Goodreads Choice Awards. So that's cool. Another one that I ended up finding is Partners in Crime. This one is a romance that was just recently published by Avon. And this one sounds so freaking cute. This one just came out in October. The little like blurb on the back of this one just says, if getting back together with an ex is a bad idea, then getting kidnapped with one is even worse. It's blurbed by Christina Lauren on the bottom. And I'm just kind of like in love with this cover. Like, is it not so so beautiful. I think this is like Las Vegas in the background with the Eiffel Tower and like the water shooting up. I don't even know, but it's so beautiful. Sorry if you can hear Tank snoring in the background, but he's on the couch having a great time. I also found, oh my gosh, look at this. I found Comfort Me With Apples, an ARC copy of this cute little tiny, like, oh my God, this one went on sale in October last year, 2021. 
and somehow I found an arc for it. And this is like one of my favorite books that I've read this year. Like this was a five star horror novella for me. So for me to be able to find this there for only $2, like I almost screamed like, oh my God, this is amazing. And this one is just this horror novel about this woman who, you know, she lives in this world where everything is perfect. And they're like, why aren't you happy? Like everything is just so perfect and peachy. And she starts to realize that this world that she's living in might not be as perfect as everyone says that it is. It's so creepy and so weird. And I feel like the ending of this book will absolutely blow your whole Whole world apart like psh. so very excited about this one I might actually reread this as well and then another book that I found that I just very recently heard about this book I think I heard about it from Instagram actually and that's Aesthetica I think that's how you say it is Aesthetica and this one we follow this 19 year old girl who is an Instagram celebrity like we kind of follow like a social media influencer in this one and now we follow her at 35 years old and she works behind the cosmetic counter at the black and white store and then I guess she's going to undergo this high risk surgery called Aesthetica. I don't know I feel like this one sounds really interesting. I think it leans more on the contemporary literary fiction side of things but I feel like this one will have a lot to say about you know different things like I feel like this one will have a lot of really good commentary in it. And then the last book that I found at Village Books, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about finding this, is Our Wives Under the Sea, which um, this is one that actually came out in July this year. This is one that has been on my TBR for quite some time because I just thought it looked really freaking beautiful. And I know that this one is gay as well, which is part of the reason why I was interested. On the inside flap here, it just says, Our Wives Under the Sea is a genre-bending exploration of the depths of love and grief at the heart of a marriage. I've also just been hearing really great things about this one from people that have read it so I'm so so excited to have found it there oh my goodness okay and then I wanted to also just take a minute to show you the different clothes that I got I only got like uh I want to say three or four different clothing items and some of them are just so freaking cute I just have to show you because look at this cute crew neck that I found it's in this amazing color of like this like foresty green which is like my favorite color of green. And on here, it just says desert dreaming and it has all these little cacti on it. Like, are you kidding me? And then on the sleeve, it also says desert dreaming. Like, is this not so freaking cute? Oh my gosh, absolutely obsessed. I can't wait to wear this every day. And then I did end up getting this shirt that I just thought was kind of simple and kind of cute. It's just this gray shirt. And then on this little part right here, it just says, enjoy the little things with the little flowers. Like, I don't know, I just thought this was really cute and would be like the perfect like nighttime t-shirt or something to wear under something else. For example, this next thing that I got is another plaid shirt. Oh my gosh. I know I have like a million plaids and I don't need this many, but I don't have any in this kind of like gray color like this. And I thought this would just be so cute. Like I love this color. I love it. It was only $5. Like what the heck? This one in particular is actually from Old Navy. So pretty freaking cool. And then the last thing that I found that I'm the most excited about is these sweatpants. I found these blue blue Calvin Klein jogger sweatpants. Oh my God, they were there for only $9. Like, are you fucking serious? And I'm so excited about these because I actually do have another pair of Calvin Klein sweats that are more gray. And I found them at Value Village like two months ago or something. And they're like some of my favorite sweatpants that I own. And so the fact that I was able to find a second pair in my size, like, I'm sorry, what? I never get this lucky with thrift stores. And like lately my Value Village has just been incredible with these kind of finds. Like, so <laughs> thank you to the person in my area who keeps getting rid of their Calvin Klein sweats. I'm obsessed, like I'm literally about to start the laundry right now so I can throw these in and wear them tonight, you know? But yeah, that is all of the things. These are all of the books that I ended up getting today. Like, oh my gosh, this is so many. <laughs> Obviously, you know, most of these were bought very discounted as you saw. So I think I only ended up spending around $50 on books today, which is pretty good considering this fat stack that I got right here. I'm just so happy with all of these finds and I can't wait to read these books. All right, so that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've read any of these books that I hauled today, then please let me know your thoughts on them and let me know which ones you think I might like or which ones you would like me to prioritize that kind of thing. I would really love to know that. Also, let me know if you've been doing any book shopping lately and what you've picked up recently. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.